to the only metro here in Medellin or in Colombia. I was really excited for the metro ride, the only metro in Colombia. This metro is above ground, spotlessly clean, and very secure. Medellin lies along the wide Abora Valley, with the city sprawling up the steep hillsides. The metro traversed partially up one side of the valley, from which you have the most magnificent views of the city. After a 10-minute ride from San Antonio Station, I arrived to Acevedo Station to take the cable car up to Santo Domingo Barrio. The cable car floats over the mountainside. Underneath it, rickety rooftops, labyrinthine streets, palms and pylons of a barrio. This was until recently the fortress of the cocaine king, Pablo Escobar. There's a strange silence up here, where vultures soar above the bustle. Eventually, the cable car reaches its terminus, disgorging passengers into the animation of a place now optimistically renamed Santo Domingo. In about five minute walk from the station to the new Mirador, you will experience a sweeping panoramic view of the city below. Even without a noticeable police presence, this area is considered kind of safe during the day. However, I absolutely don't suggest walking solo in this area at night. At one point, Medellin was the most dangerous city on earth. More than 6,000 people were murdered annually. The accounts of suffering and violence was truly obscene. It wasn't just a warfare between gang lords and drug criminals. It was children being tortured and mutilated for accidentally crossing an invisible territorial boundary. Kids had to grow up with killing taking place in their bedrooms and bullets flying through their curtains. The people of the city really want to change. And with the help of some new facilities and the metro cable system, that allowed those poorer neighborhoods a cultural revival. Today, the hills of Medellin is vibrant with children, tourists, street shops, and colorful graffitis, and are no longer cut off as they once were in those violent, crime-ridden years. Right next to me